So I'll run a Wireshark capture between ISP1 and ISP2. There's our capture. On Ubuntu 1, I'll send a ping to Cisco.com again. Filter for ICMP. Notice you can see that that traffic is sent in clear text. And that's because the traffic is not being encrypted. But if I sent a ping to Ubuntu 2, we don't see the ICMP traffic showing up in Wireshark because the traffic is encrypted. So in my Wireshark capture, notice I'm seeing ESP traffic. So I'll filter on that and I'll stop that ping. Scrolling all the way down, notice we don't see the original ping. What we're seeing is traffic going from router 1 to router 2 and back again. So we see our Ethernet header, IP version 4, traffic is from customer router 1 to customer router 2. The protocol used is ESP, encapsulating security payload. If we look at that, we just see sequence numbers. We don't see the contents of the packet. This is all encrypted traffic. So as an example, I'll set up a username on customer router 2. I'll enable Telnet, so transport input all. Login local, so do show run. We've got our username configured. We've got Telnet enabled. So I'll Telnet to 10121. Login is David, password is Cisco. So I can Telnet to the router. Need to configure an enable password of say Cisco here. So type enable login, but on the internet, we can't read that information because the traffic is encrypted. Even though we're capturing traffic here, the traffic from customer router one to customer router two is encrypted by the IPsec tunnel. So a hacker or someone else on the internet is not able to read the traffic. Okay, so how did you do? Were you able to complete the lab? Did you get it working? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.